the third man in the ring. We are ready to go. 12 round fight in the super feather weight division. There you see Takashi Miura from Akita, Japan. 33 and two, former world champion. And across the way, Mickey Roman from Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua, Mexico with 56 and 11 on his record. You ready? Ready? We are ready to go from Indio, California. Bethel Duran and Doug Fisher here as the crowd is fired up. Takashi Mura in the black trunks. He is in the southpaw stance. Roman in the gold trunks. Now, Miura was rocked early and badly against Francisco Vargas during their fight in the first round. It'll be interesting to see if Mickey Roman tries to catch the Japanese veteran cold. Miura has had one fight after that Vargas loss in 2015. Yeah, and that was a one-round blowout yep. against a very overmatched opponent. Obviously, last year they were giving Miura a break. Near the age of 31, needed that break. Here he is back as the co-feature tonight. Talks of possibly rematching against Francisco Vargas. First, he's got to get through a very tough in game, Mickey Roman, who's very confident coming into this fight. And he's obviously the man with more professional experience. He has over 400 total pro rounds under his belt, 402 to be exact. Um, he is solid technically and fundamentally speaking. He is physically strong. He doesn't have the fastest hands. He's not the most athletic guy out there. He has heavy hands, but generally speaking, he's not gonna get you out of there with one shot. When he scores a knockout, it's because he grinds his opponent down. And he usually does so stop, with stop, a stop, body stop. attack. So Ramon nice. wants to get on the inside uh, where he can work near his rib cage. The problem is, to get inside, he's got to walk through that left hand of Miro, which carries a lot of power. As Doug said earlier about Miro's left hand, that sledgehammer that he has. Miro, 31 years old. It to see how he comes out. That one round in Japan really wasn't anything. Got more work and sparring than he did in that fight. Right, that bout was, you know, just to knock some rust off, just to get back in camp, just to get a feel for the ring and to, to set up a bigger fight that was supposed to happen in December against Orlando, Orlando Salido. Salido fell out of that bout, and here he is one month later against Mickey Roman, another grizzled Mexican veteran. Yeah, that fight against Cerlito, when it got announced that it was not on because of injuries, the collective boxing Twitter world, uh, it was, that was a buzzkill. Hashtag buzzkill. It was the one time the boxing Twitter wasn't complaining stop, and stop, crying. Stop. It was like, okay, we actually understand this one. Yeah. The one time. That's rare. That rarely happens. Opening feel-out round for these two fighters. Working towards the main event of Francisco Vargas and Miguel Burchelt. And they're approaching this opening Stop. round like veterans. Stop. This was the quintessential feeling out round. Get him up, get him up. Time, right there. Second round underway. Both corners nice and calm. Doing the feeling out round. Did you hear in Spanish, Vermont's corner telling him, OK, open up a little bit now. A lot of respect for these two fighters also. They know each other. They know about each other. And I always wonder with the southpaw that maybe a possible clash of heads. Have to be careful with that. Here you see Mira bouncing around a little bit. A little bit more pop in their step here in the second round. Good left landed by Mira. And this one blocked by Mickey Roman. I have to imagine that Team Roman has prepared their fighter to avoid that left hand, or at least counter it. And Vermont keeping that right hand up very high. That's a good idea. A little head movement wouldn't hurt. I think it would behoove the Mexican fighter to work a jab and use a jab to get in close, where he could work his, his hooks and crosses, uppercuts, and of course the body attack. What kind of style is Mira for those watching it for the first time? Mira is a slugger. Yeah, he lives and dies by his power. He does have some savvy. He does have a nice right hook. He can jab when he wants to. Stop, stop, stop. But he, he doesn't always pop the jab. Often he just uses his right jab as a range finder for the left. But he, you know, like I said in the opening, he, he lives and dies by that left hand. 
and a seek and destroy fighter is, is a slugger. Rick loading up on those left. Roman answers with the right of his own. And a slugger wants to, to pull fighters of other styles into his fight. If you're a boxer, he wants to pull you into that. Body if shot. you're a fellow slugger um, or, or a puncher, he wants to pull you into that because he knows that he's tough enough to take it and that he can wear you down. And Roman, rugged veteran, Mexican. Yeah, he's he's a he's an aggressive Straight boxer. I'll back. call him an aggressive boxer Guys, puncher. Break. So you're not gonna have these two on the ropes. No. <laughs> Body shot landed by Roman. If somebody's back winds up to the ropes, it's because it was forced there. He's not going to willingly go there. He's not going to willingly orbit the other fighter. Not going to willingly utilize a lot of lateral movement. I think the feeling out has gone out of the way now. No, now they're feeling each yeah. other's rib cages. Yep. Both of them landing good body shots. Overhand left by Murray. Roman is really good at grabbing that left arm on the opposite side of the referee, Tom Taylor. Veteran move. As you said, try to avoid that left. How? Hold it. That's one way. Yeah, you do see Miura just load up on his left, doesn't it? Yeah, Miura is going to be dangerous from um, the outside in middle distance, and I think Roman is going to be do more damage on the inside. That's what Roman wants to do here. Good second round. In fact, the WBC announced the winner of Gonzalez's next fight has to face That's Quattis. what it was. That, that's the news that came out of Dougie Fisher's mailbag. <laughs> the news and else. Third round of action. Takashi Mura and Mickey Roman. Okay, yeah, the feeling out is gone. Let's just start slugging away here. It wasn't going to last. Yeah. Not with their mentalities, no. you know. Only one round yeah, last year for Takashi Mura. No Tom Taylor Go. shaking the head. Watch your heads, guys. Word. Warning them both about a flash. Ooh, that was left. A beautiful left, left hand. And you see he just paused with the right hand. There he kind of sneakily did sort of a swatting right hook jab. That's more of a distraction. Stop, stop, he stop, throws stop, the stop, fine range stop. and land the sledgehammer. Mura throws right. everything with authority, doesn't he? Yes, he does. And I would define him as a puncher if he had one hitter quitter power with that left, but he doesn't. He has to kind of wear you down with doesn't. the left. And he, and he likes to draw you into a firefight, lots of exchanges. That's why I, I, I define him as a slugger. And Mickey Roman likes to get in there and mix it up with you. A lot of fans here from El Paso and Siakwad is making the drive to Indio. As you're hearing the noise, it's starting to pick up. Roman has the Mexican fans behind him. Mira has Japanese fans in attendance with signs. A great atmosphere and a good vibe in Indio, California. I like the right to the body from Mira. He's going to need more than just that left hand to the head. He's going to have to work the body with his left and right. Near the southpaw. It's a right. Uppercut landed by Roman. Good shot landed by the Japanese fighter, Mira. Good stiff jab. Roman answers with the right. Step right into that one. And you can tell Roman wants to get in close and work the body with both hands. He wants to rip Miura with uppercuts because Miura is susceptible to that punch. But he has to get in close in order to do his damage where Miura is going to land those bombs from the outside. Keeping his distance is Miura, the fighter in the black trunks. Body shot. Good one, two from Miura. Goes back stop, to the well, this time blocked by Roman. Good job, good job. Break back. So far, both men are showing a reliable chin under some considerable fire. Body shot again. Roman answers with his left hook to the body of his own. Right hand, uppercut from Roman. Uppercut from Mura. You got one, I got one for you. Left hook from Mura. Good action as a Starting to heat up between Takashi Mura and Mickey Roman. Third round. It is scheduled for 12 in Indio, California. He he would have gotten cut man of the year for keeping Vargas in that fight. Right now it's Takashi Mura and M Mickey Roman going to the fourth round. Easy. Now the lather's going. Body movement around. And the facial tissue of both fighters has held out so far. Good right hand let landed go, by go, Mickey Roman. 
We're only three rounds into this fight. Yeah. We're just now into the fourth stop, round, stop, so stop, stop. that might not last, but so far, so good. The Listen broadcaster say, Jinx stop. from Doug Fisher stop coming your way in a couple rounds. Don't do it. Don't do it. Tom Taylor right. warning him about the grabbing. Yeah, some rough stuff. I think there was like an elbow in close there. Well, when you have 67 fights underneath your belt, you learned a couple things or two. Of course. And the more physical in close this fight, fight is, the better I believe it will be for Roman. We haven't really seen him get close at all. Miura doing a good oh, job. Yeah, he's getting stiff arm. Yeah, he's getting, you know, Roman's getting stiff armed with the right from Miura and, and bombed from the left side of Miura. But Stepping Roman, on each other's feet. Yeah, he does get in there. He is landing his shots. We're seeing a lot of punches land on the arms of both fighters, but that takes a, a toll as well, yeah. Beto. That can wear a fighter down and bring those arms down to where they can hit more. Some blood from the mouth of Takashi Mira here in the fourth round. As Roman starting to pick up the pressure. Woo! One, two, landed by Mira. And these are clean stop, shots stop, no from punch, the no outside punch. that Straight all back. three judges Straight can back. clearly see. Whereas I think a lot of Roman's best shots, like that left to the body, happen in close, and they happen in a way where a judge on one side of the ring may not have seen it. Look, guys, work on that. But they're being felt by Mira. And you can, you can certainly hear them. A couple rolls back from ringside, you can hear the shots being landed here. These are what you call thudding punches, and they are damaging. It is scheduled for 12 rounds. Action picking up between Takashi Mira and Mickey Roman. A minute to go in the fourth yeah, round. Yeah. Body work from Roman. Got away with the hold again. The right hand from the Chihuahua fighter, Mickey Roman. Mira answers with a shot of his own. Body work from Mira. Body work from Roman. Love the way that these two are just attacking the body because they both have big whiskers. They've shown that they can take heavy shots. That was a nice lead right hand from Roman. It landed and set up some um, follow up punches. We are seeing Roman slowly push Miura back, but Miura is able to land some damaging blows as he, he gives ground. <laughs> stiff jab ah. from Roman, swinging it is from Miura. Stop, 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 straight back, straight, straight back. Now making Roman like, hey, hey, I'm not holding, look, look, take it away. <laughs> but one time he doesn't. Final seconds of the fourth round. Good one, action picking up between Takashi Miura and Mickey Roman. Good wow. left by that. Miura. Very hard round to score. That thing can also buy your fighter some time. As they send it to the neutral corner, get an extra eight seconds out of it. But we are underway here in the fifth round. Good action between Takashi Mira and the Black Trunks. And Mickey Roman. Mira just blows up on those clips every single time. It's like he only has one gear with it. Yeah, you don't see him ever just sort of touch a fighter with no. the left. <laughs> He's going to let the left go, full power. It was a good fourth round for Mickey Roman, but Mira finished it strong. It's a tough round to yep. score. I thought that Roman was a more consistent fighter offensively, but the eye-catching, head-snapping punches were landed by the Japanese fighter. See Mira bouncing around here in this round, making Roman chase him, eluding him. Swinging and missing over and over is Mickey Roman here in the fifth round. And Miura might be trying to set a trap, or he might be acknowledging that Roman is the stronger fighter and that he needs to limit the grappling. Limit the exchanges a little, a little bit. bit. You said that from the opening get go that Roman wants to get inside. Miura needs to keep him out. This is more of Roman's fight, isn't it? Absolutely. And you see he's doing very good work. Roman is the better combination puncher. And he's really at his best when he's going to the body and then bringing the punches up to the head. Roman likes to work both sides of the body and then rip uppercuts. Ace of Mira turning red. Crowd on their feet. Yeah, or Mickey Roman. Yes, you can hear it from the Mexican contingent. Yep. Body shot landed by Roman. Mira sticks out his face. The Mexico chant is getting loud inside the Fantasy Springs Resort and Casino. Good right landed by Mickey Roman. And Miura is going to start to really load up with that left hand. He can feel the momentum shift to his opponent, and he doesn't want that. Less than a minute to go in the fifth. Mickey Roman digging the body shots. Left 
hook from Romano. It's a sneaky left hook. Yes, it is. You can't take away from the experience that Romano has. He's not a slick fighter stylistically, but he's caging in there because he's learned a lot with more than 65 professional contests. 30 seconds to go in the round. Another good one from Mickey Romano. See who can steal this round. Mira came to fight. Mira's not here to lay down. And neither is Mickey Roman. They are both known and a lot of things are on the line. And both fighters were physically and mentally prepared for a grueling affair. Time right there. Two rounds apiece with round four even. <laughs> oh, you give it even, yeah. Yeah, I, have, I have an even round in there. I copped out in round four. I, I couldn't choose a, a winner uh, for that round, but I gave round right, one feet. and five to Roman and rounds two and three to Miura. Tough one was to score at very, very amateur eyes of mine, but because they're so in there, and they're, neither of them has done anything to really take a big advantage in a round. Yeah, nobody's totally taken command of this fight, although We're it did, ahead, did look like in Bring round five that Roman has shifted the momentum in his favor, at least for now. For now, key word, Takashi Mura, 32-year-old in the black. Good single body shots from Miura. You haven't really seen many combinations from Miura, have you? I was just about to say that. He doesn't put his punches together enough for my liking. Roman does. But Roman doesn't hit as hard punch for punch as Miura, particularly uh, from the left side of Miura. Roman with some blood trickling down his nose. 31-year-old from Chihuahua, Mexico. And actually, the right from Miura, it carries a lot of power when he uses it. He's got a good right hook, and he, he delivers a right to the body with a, with a lot of authority. Shoot back, shoot back, guys. Authority, that's a good word with that shot. Right from Roman. That was well-timed from the Mexican veteran. Body work, a little shoe shine. Halfway through the sixth round, scheduled for 12. Roman came prepared to do some serious work. He's a very high punch output for him. Good shot landed. With the crowd ooh and an eye. Of course, the problem with uh, a high volume attack is that you leave yourself open. Swing and a miss from Roman. Mira is elusive. Stop, 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 stop. Like he, he baits you in where you think you're getting it, and yeah. you're not hitting anything clean. When you least expect it, you will see some upper body movement from Mira, or at least sort of a crouch. He'll kind of lean over to his, his left side, and he's looking to set you up with the shot. He's looking to set a trap when he does that. Good hard right landed by Mira. I made a noise. Dude. Yeah. But it wasn't followed up again. No, it wasn't. It's was one shot at a time from Miura. And now I'm starting to see swelling around both eyes of Miura. Yep. And he does have high cheekbones. Swelling around both eyes. Blood from the mouth of Miura. Blood from the nose of Roman. With 20 seconds to go in the sixth round. There was a clash earlier. No blood result, but there was a clash. 10 seconds to go in the sixth round. It is scheduled for 12 in Indio, California. A good one starting to heat up between Takashi Mira and Mickey Roma. Story written by Lance Pugmire in the LA Times. Google it, he's working as Uber driver. Not because he needs money, he just likes the interaction with people. <laughs> <laughs> he's a character. Yeah. He's also a warrior, that guy scraps. More than 20 stop, stop, years stop, stop. as a professional. Stop. Yeah. He turned pro in 1996. Let me guess, you were there for his debut? No, I wasn't. <laughs> Pretty much everybody else. <laughs> right now we're watching Takashi Mira in the black, Mickey Roman, Ciudad Juarez, Mexico against Akita, Japan. With one, two from, that's, that's what Mira does. Loads up, hits it, Roman shaking his head like, nope. A lot of those shots being blocked by the gloves of Roman. Loading up and Going for it is Mira, but they're not landing flush. Yeah, that one well, did. That one did. And, but there is a sense of urgency from Mira. And between rounds, we saw a lot of bruising scattered around the face of the Japanese fighter. Maybe his corner is a little bit worrisome about how his face is going to hold out over the next couple of rounds. And they want him to re-seize the momentum in this fight, regain command. It feels like the momentum is on the side of Mickey Roman the last couple of rounds. Oh, you do see Mira locking in. 
making noises as he's throwing punches. Grunting as he lands that left. Roman right there with him. Roman close quarters. What he wants is that phone booth. For those of you who don't know what that is, that's a close, tight location. But he used to have a phone inside. Loading, you can hear him screaming yeah, as he's, he's throwing. He's those yelling. Punches. That's not barking. I mean, he's really grunting when he shots out. Body shot from Roman. Mural holding on. He went hard for those two minutes. Time's being and, and called and by Tom looks, Taylor. Yeah, he looks a little winded, too. There might have been a cloud. I, what happened here? Did he lose his mouthpiece? mouthpiece? Yes. Got it in? Got That's it. what happens Get when you, you, you yell Time that in. loudly with each shot. Sometimes that mouthpiece will fly out of your mouth. And he's still grunting. You can hear him. You don't need a microphone to hear him grunting as he's throwing those punches. But he's not landing many of those. Getting deflected by the high guard of Mickey Roman. Boy, if that, that last left would have landed, I would have been surprised if Roman took it. But he's taken the power so far, and he's throwing back in a higher volume. Blood from the mouth of Mura is dripping out of his mouth. So as many punches he's throwing, he's worn a couple here in this seventh round. Right eye from Mura. There's a nice little mouse forming underneath, Doug. As you said in the beginning of the round, one of the concerns, body shot from Mira. Final seconds of the seventh. A lot of action from Takashi Mira. And Mickey Roman hanging out of Mira for achievement. Yeah, peeking over your nose and just what you've written down. You have close a bunch of times written on your nose. Yes. Eighth round of action. It is scheduled for 12 between Takashi Mura and Mickey Roman. Mura, the former world champion. Clash of heads. Accidental headbutt, according to head referee Tom Taylor, on the left, right eyebrow of Mickey Roman. Roman complaining about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Forget the sportsmanship. We don't need to touch gloves there. Let's just get going. And that is the outside corner of his right eye. Yep. For now, the, the blow, the blood is flowing. Um, Watch the head. Watch the head. Away, right? you know, outside of the eye, not Watch. into the eye, but that could change. Roman's been in some scraps over the years. He's veteran. Wondering how is he going to respond? You know, accidental head, but he didn't look very happy about it. Stop, stop, stop. He's getting a little dirty inside. A lot on the line. You, a win here puffs these guys up even more. Think about how long it took Roman to work his way up the WBC rankings. Yep. 18 fights. Several years. Four years, I believe. Some consider him just a, a journeyman with that record or potential gatekeeper. He doesn't think of himself like that. And he's not fighting like a journeyman or even a, a, a tough gatekeeper. He's fighting like somebody who is a legitimate contender and somebody who desperately wants to earn a world title shot. As Roman said yesterday, yesterday at the weigh-in to me, don't look at my record, just watch me fight. I don't look like my record. That's the best way to say it. And, and I, I like the way he's fighting right now. And we're, we're getting some, some beautifully brutal exchanges. The Mexico chant getting louder. Get Fans Get stopping their feet. Definitely on the side of Mickey Roman. Miura looks tired. He's letting his hands go, but he's swinging a little sloppily now. Yeah, his punches aren't as crisp, huh? Yeah, the technique has fallen off. And I wonder if his jaw is bothering him because the mouth is just open. It's like he can't close it all the way. The left by Miura. Right hand landed by Roman. 35 seconds ago in the eighth round. Right. These guys are getting tired. They, they are tired. Yeah, they're both tired. You can see it on their face. They're gritting through their teeth, throwing punches. Mirror still coming. We didn't expect anybody on the ropes. They're on the ropes because they're tired right now. Absolutely. And Mirror is trying to be the bull and take advantage of the situation by, by forcing Roman to the ropes. But Roman is fighting well off the ropes, and I thought Roman was landing more punches with his back to the ropes. Here, Roman hunched over. That's an exhausted dude here in the eighth round. 
And now Roman is willingly giving ground because he doesn't have the energy to exchange. Flailing, that's almost exhaustion. Could he be getting tired? Both of these fighters here. I think he landed enough to just to edge that round eight, though. You got it. So it's still anybody's fight. Although I, I have Roman slightly ahead. Guys, watch it. Stop, stop, stop. Now watch that head. Okay. okay. Been warned. I'm down. I got it. Mickey Roman complaining Jackson about it. No cut. Tom all Taylor. Right. <laughs> Gotta <laughs> you watch that head, all right? I got it. Go. <laughs> Let me do my job. <laughs> hey, a lot of on the line. Roman could be feeling that maybe <laughs> doing it on purpose here. Well, I don't know if he feels comfortable enough for this fight to go to the scorecards either. I don't think he, he would want this fight to stop and be a, a techn technical decision for either fighter because he's not let's sure himself on, if he's ahead on all three official scorecards. So he doesn't want any more headbutts. He doesn't want to get cut. That from the right eye, that was from a headbutt to Mickey Roman. Just to, remind, yeah, just to remind our viewers, if the fight is stopped because of, of, of a cut, and that cut was produced by an accidental headbutt or an accidental foul, we go to the scorecards. Good shot landed by Mira, the southpaw. Roman takes a step back, trying to catch his breath here. This is a very tired of Mickey Roman. He was bouncing around early in the rounds, middle of the rounds, still had a lot of movement here. He's not moving away from the heavy shots being thrown by Takashi Miura. And Miura is also battling fatigue, but he's fighting through it. And he's bringing the fight to the Mexican veteran. Roman keeping his hands up in between rounds. His corner said, you have to keep your hands up. Don't drop them. Body shot. Good one by Miura, the former world champion. Uppercut landed by Miura. Less than a minute to go in Watch the ninth the round. Would you say Ramon is the more fatigued fighter at this point of the fight? From right now, yes. Because Ramon was bouncing on his toes, moving around. And he's flat-footed now. Yep. It's like a, like when you do your track workouts and you're running those 400 to the last 20 meters, you're like, come on. Yeah, your feet are flat and heavy. Ramon complaining about the headbutts again. Can't complain about that left shot that was landed. Stop, 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 no punch. Two tired fighters. You see Mira breathing heavy also. Yeah, breathing Ten. heavy, but he's still throwing heavy. Yep. Final seconds of the ninth round. Mira, Roman, giving the fans all their worth. Good night of boxing here in Indio, California. Main event coming up with Francisco Vargas and Miguel Bertelt. Two Mexicans going at it. That's our main event right now. Mickey Roman from Chihuahua, or Ciudad Juarez, Mexico, taking on Takashi Mira, the former world champion, Southpaw. One of the championship rounds. Guys, watch those heads. Come on now. You hear Tom Taylor saying, watch the head, but there was a clash earlier that Opened up a cut on the right eyebrow of Mickey Roman. Roman's complained about it ever since. Roman has won 18 fights in a row. Has a loss since 2012. You're trying to tee him up. From Akita, Japan, is Tagashi Mura. Taking promotions. Stop, stop, straight back, straight back. Tell you what, it's a good thing that Miura had a, a soft 2016 that yeah. <laughs> he's found himself in another grueling battle of attrition. 2016, he only fought, it was half of a round, he got a knockout. It's wild, swinging and a miss. And he's swinging and missing, but he's also catching Roman between yeah. Roman's wild punches. You get the feeling that either guy could go down from a single punch at this point of the fight. Yeah, Roman is no longer out there boxing. He's slug, trying to slug with Mira. That's Body what a shot. slugger wants. Like I said at the beginning of this fight, a slugger wants to pull fighters of other styles into his fighting style because he believes in his ability to take whatever they can dish out, and he believes in his power. 
Mira had, ooh. You heard that shot. That was loud. That was a smacking left cross right on the forehead of Roman. I was going to say, Mira has not underneath his right eye, but we're going to continue to affect him. He's still landing those lefts. The technique has fallen off from Miura's punches, and I think some of the zip and power and snap has fallen off from Roman's punches. But Roman's arm punching right now. Yes. It's a good observation, Beto. I'm learning, Dougie. I'm learning. <laughs> you got it. You got a handle on it now. Less than 30 seconds. And there's, you know, there's not a whole lot to really analyze with fights like no. this. That's the great thing about these fights. It's just, it really comes down to who can take it better. Stop, stop, stop. No question. Right now, Mira is hanging it. The former world champion. It comes down to who, who's had the better conditioning and who wants it more. Oh, body, body shot. shot. That got him. He loaded up. And it was a body Five, shot to the gut. Six, and it was the left. Seven, yep. That was the sledgehammer. Eight. Landed right, like a wrecking on. ball. Final seconds. Right. Oh, Dougie with the current. Whoa. Came in like a wrecking ball, huh, Dougie? <laughs> you <laughs> had to. It. it landed sort of on the rib cage, sort of right in the abdomen area. Maybe a little bit towards the solar plexus. And that will suck a fighter's uh, win. Down went stop, Roman. Stop, stop, I'm surprised stop, stop. he got up from it, to be quite honest. Get the head up. That's you. And he was You're definitely turning. saved by the it's bell. If that same ball. punch had landed in the middle of round 10, I don't know if he would have survived. Look at Roman coming in, only showing the left shoulder. He is hiding that right side from the southpaw Takashi Mura. He has not recovered from that vicious body shot that he suffered at the end of the 10th round. Keeping that elbow tight around the rib cage. Is Mickey Roman still breathing heavy? You can see him trying to take a stop, stop, gasp no any point. opportunity. Let him go. Let him go. Let him. Uh, it was a perfectly timed. Okay, let him go. Let him go. Left to the body to produce the knockdown, and the knockdown happened at, at a perfect stop, place no in this point, fight no because point. it was anybody's fight, and now Miura has an back extra up, point, up. and a my scorecard he needed it to, to, ah. to firmly pull ahead. Miura is looking for the yeah, knockout right now. Yeah, that, he is that. looking to end this fight stop. right oh, now. Is Roman a little back. sneaking in there? Say, let him go. You gotta let him go. Roman still protecting that right side. And Mira going after it anyways. Going to the body. Is the former world champion in black. Upstairs, good right landed by Mira. Yeah, he's got power with that right hook. And he's on the ropes and he drops him for the second time in the fight. Dougie, you Four, said you don't want to be on the ropes five, if you're Mickey Roman, and that's exactly where he found himself seven, on the 11th, and eight, he was dropped okay? here halfway through the 11th round. He Lock still hasn't way. recovered from the end of the 10th. Keep Tom Taylor going. asking him if he wants to keep going. Let's go. Of course he does. I mean, he is a quintessential Mexican warrior, but his back was against those ropes because he can no longer offer the physical resistance not to be pushed back against them. Mira loading up. He is a shark and he smells and tastes blood. Watch your head, watch your head. More body work. Roman taking a big breath. Body shot. And some of those shots are a little Stop. bit low. Let him go, let him go. They're right on the belt. Right now, every shot is hurting. Like that one. I think Miura has to go back to working the left and the right. The, the, the left cross and the right hook, particularly when he can get Roman's back against the ropes. Roman game. Crowd trying to cheer on the Mexican fighter, but it's all Mira right now. Dig into the body again. Even Oscar DeLoya reacted bad, like, ooh. He knows what that feels like. That's Bernard. <laughs> body shot again for Mira. Love the way that he's just going after the body, not allowing Roman to breathe at all. Has him in the corner, has him against the ropes with 10 seconds to go in the 11th round. Vicky Roman is standing up, I don't know how, with all grit, all heart, but it is another good round for Takashi Mura. How about 12 grueling ones with Vicky Roman? Actually, 11 grueling ones. We still got to get through the 12. And I'm pretty sure Mura wants to end this. Look at I, I don't, on it. I don't know how these guys do it. I really don't. Stop, stop, stop. Straight back. They're pushing themselves beyond human limitations. Body shot again. Body shot again. Body shot again. Let him go. Let him go. Stop. No punch. Mickey Roman holding on. Not his style to hold on. I mean, he's still hurting, feeling the effects of those body shots with the 10th. 
Yeah, Miura is in firm command of this fight right now. I have scored every round for Miura. Oh, he dropped eight. it. That was a delay. He hit him with that Three, left hook. Four, it stung him, five, and the knees gave out. Six, I don't know if Mickey Ramon's going to get up from this eight, one. I don't know if he has nine. anything left in that body. He's trying, and it is over. Wow. A 12th round KO for Takashi Miura. Got him to the ropes and delivered the left cross. He lives and he dies with that sledgehammer. Tonight, he's living. Referee Thomas Taylor reaches the count of 10. Your winner by KO victory, Takashi.